stuff because we don't have to We got some it. really rare stuff like this. It's like, I don't even know what this is. I like this one. I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a Pokemon card today. Album. Album, we have more eBay listings. Yes, with the five drafts that are left right now, we're going to be at 500 items. Yeah. That's not quantity, though. There are so many. Like I said before, if you guys are interested in anything you've been seeing me pick up that I say is for eBay, like this, for example, this cool Jurassic Park car that I picked up at the outlet today, that is already listed on eBay. And more of the Nintendo like employee or promo freaking like wind waker employee only beanie <laughs> yeah. because in 2015 i think it was um or 2016 abby and i drove up to seattle and we purchased an entire collection from an ex nintendo employee who used to be at the somewhere near the head of marketing uh for from like gamecube and Game Boy advance era up until like into the wii and I think a little bit before, because he had some Donkey Nintendo 64 shirt? stuff. It is a Donkey Kong 64 That's shirt. awesome. But he was the head of marketing, or at least close to the head of marketing, for 11 years at Nintendo of America. And we bought his entire collection of basically every single Nintendo item he still had, including a lot of test items, employee-only items, like this shirt. Like, this is just some random, like, weird button-up shirt, but it's got a little Nintendo logo embroidered right there. And there's a lot of stuff like that where it's very clearly not merch that Nintendo was selling to their customers. That's just an employee-only type of shirt. And there's a lot of really, really cool stuff. We're planning on posting that all on eBay, aside from the couple things that I want to keep, obviously. But um, there's some really, really cool stuff. And it's probably going to be expensive, but it's like impossible to price. So a lot of it's probably going to have to go up as auctions. But we'll see. We'll see. Guys, if you are into this kind of stuff, you are definitely going to want to check out our eBay. Uh, this video is not going up until two days from now, so I think by the time the video is out, this stuff will all be listed. But like we mentioned before, these are like Nintendo employee like clothing. You can't buy this stuff anywhere. It's got the Nintendo logo on here. This one does as well. Here's their logo in Japanese, and then it says it on the sleeves on this one. Uh, we already have this listed, but uh, it's like a little water bottle canteen kind of thing. And a lot of this kind of stuff since he was ahead of marketing, you couldn't just like go out and buy this stuff. Companies would would produce these items and send them to Nintendo to basically show what they could do. And then the, in the hopes that Nintendo would place an order with their company. So a lot of times stuff like this, it could be, you know, one of a kind. I'm not saying that it is, but it could be, you know, a situation like that with some of these items. This is a inflatable GameCube chair. <laughs> we have this weird Nintendo 64 sports hat, which has got like the four little tassels on it. <laughs> and then this really cool quill pen that's got the Mario from Super Mario 64 on there. That's all brand new. We have all of these like sample swatches for the Nintendo 64 sports logo. So some of them are like embroidered on with different materials. Uh, this is like, a, it's like a fuzzy like felt almost. And uh, this one is like, I don't even know what this is. This is kind of like felt as well, but then the yellow on the top is like indented. I don't know, it's really weird. And then this one's just like a, like a rubbery thing. I don't, I don't really know. Like I said, they're all just like sample things that would get sent to Nintendo. And then like all this kind of stuff, all these bags and everything, these are all like brand new, never used, still sample kind of stuff. This is like Leeds Golf, <laughs> just like Chester stuff that they would send out. So, this is probably the rarest one. This is a Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Ages, and Oracle of Seasons t-shirt, and it is still factory sealed in this bag here. And it is an adult medium. But we have the GameCube bucket hat, all sorts of stuff. So, if you're interested, check out our eBay. Link in the description down below. What am I doing? Oh! Um, put the bucket hat over your beanie. Okay, okay. That way it's still brand new. There we go, there we go. And then you gotta wear this across your body. Okay. I guess I should have gone on first. Mm, too low. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. But, uh, and you hold those ones. And maybe, maybe this can like, go on your shoulder or something. Sure. Do we got a stuffy? Hold on. Uh, hold on. Yeah. I like the idea. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna hold those. This looks, yeah, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, I, I want Jesse, our editor, to do like a call. We're back to the outlet. For today though, I'm just doing what I call picking up the scraps. I'm not planning on staying very long. I'm not gonna stay for all the rotations. I'm just gonna go in, see what we can find. Everyone's already dug through everything, so I probably won't find anything too crazy, but I'm sure we'll end up with at least something. So let's go in, see what it is. everything but I'm not gonna go through with the store there's not that much got some cool VHS but I'm just gonna go back to the store we'll get the stuff entered and that'll be it Ryan what is this mess uh, it's video game stuff trade-ins uh, yes this came in today white Wii U testing this right now what about that bag uh, this also came in today um, what about that 3DS? Yeah, this also came in today. <laughs> and these ones. Oh, nice. Yeah, some of this stuff still needs to be stickered. I like this cleaned. one. Yeah, I like Complete. it too. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. And this game looks like it's autographed by Alex. Alex K. Super famous. Yeah, well known for working on Call of Duty World at War. Yeah, totally, totally. That's my favorite Call of Duty game. Yeah, it definitely wasn't the guy who owned it. No, owned the disc. It could have been both. It could he could have owned one. That's true. This is true. Well, what's, what's coming up? Oh, it's, it's got a load. It's building the world. Yeah, it's building our world that we've been making <laughs> and stuff and junk. Yeah. Damn. Um... I'll gladly pay you Tuesday for a Pokemon card today. We're closed on Tuesdays. Oh. Oh. I, I guess I'm just gonna... Just, I'm just gonna take that. I think Jess can just bring you some money later. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. I'll do that. I'll do that. Blue Mew. <laughs> Welcome to another staff pick. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about one of my favorite movies, at least one of my favorite action movies, and that is Wanted. This came out in 2008, I think. Um, it didn't get like a lot of good reviews, but this is seriously just one of my favorite movies because I just love over the top action, and this is, fits that bill. Um, this, as you can see, has James McAvoy, I think it's one of his earlier movies, Morgan Freeman and Angelina Jolie. The plot is basically James McAvoy plays this this guy who just works in this like office building. He hates his job, he hates his boss, he hates everything about it. He's not really doing much with his life. 
um, after his dad is murdered, he finds out that he inherited his father's superhuman abilities to become an assassin. And he gets recruited um, into this uh, group called the Fraternity. And uh, I think he gets recruited by Angelina Jolie. And they, these assassins in the Fraternity just take on missions to go assassinate people. Um, there's a lot of like really cool special effects in it. They do a lot of like, um, it's a lot of gun violence, but they do things like I don't know if you've, if you've seen the trailer, um, they, they have the ability to like bend bullets or like kind of like bullets don't uh, shoot in a straight line for them essentially. So they can like curve them around walls and other obstacles and stuff like that. And they're always on target basically. This game is over the top. It's amazing, has really cool special effects and I just love it. Um, it's been a little while since I've seen it. So I'm gonna have to go watch it again, but you guys should definitely check it out. Are the peeps enjoying the Neo Geo? Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people. Okay, I saw like a father and his uh, young peep playing on it. Um, <laughs> his young peep? Yeah, and that was pretty cute. A large peep and his young peep. When I came in earlier, when I got here from the outlet, somebody was on it when I walked in. Nice. And I saw some kids playing on it earlier. And now Kyle's playing on it. <laughs> it's free, right? Yeah. I do want to put a lock on that bottom part. There's no money in it or anything, but... You don't want anybody kind of around a bit. Yeah. When we had the machines before, people would, I would find money in them. Like people would put quarters in them, even though they're all oh. always on free play and they said that. But like kids would just like open up the bottom. There's like wires and stuff in there. So we need to put a lock on there. Yeah. And then we're gonna, or we need, I don't know, the bottom part locks, the top needs like one of those actual like turning locks. Hmm. So we might just like tape it or something. I don't know. Yeah, we could just, Put, like, Let's tape a cute it. Little sticker on it. Let's tape. We it. got stickers. Okay. Let's sticker it. Uh, sticker. Having fun. Yeah. Playing metal slug. Yeah. All right. What is he gonna choose to put on it? Oh. The biggest one. <laughs> Doesn't really stay closed very well. Not really. He's, he's wired right now. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Need to look pretty. Needs to be the closest. And then let's just zip tie this bottom one. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice. People can still open it, obviously, but there's, there's nothing in there to see. Get him, Kyle. Let's see if anyone put money in here. Nope. Oh. Oh, I died. No! I've never played this game Kyle. before. I win. <laughs> 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 Yay, Kyle did it. Give me good the, job. Give me the thing. It wouldn't let me jump up there. So I guess that's the end of the level. Yeah, good job, Kyle. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this video of these. Like women going up to guys and be like, "How tall are you?" And they're like, "Oh, you know, six foot." I'm like, can I measure you? And they're like, uh, "I guess." And they're like, "Well, it looks like you're five nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big difference. <laughs> yeah. How tall? How tall are you? I'm five nine. I'm uh, six. You're six foot tall. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. D can we measure you? <laughs> uh, tomorrow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when I got my platforms. <laughs> Where's your phone? No. <laughs> we don't always put the clips in the video the same order that we filmed them. So I don't know what you're seeing after this clip, but um, Abby's friend is living with us right now and she needs a ride home from work. So, and Abby is hanging out with Macy tonight. So Abby's going different direction than I am. So I'm gonna go pick up Christina and take her home and I'm done working for today. I get to go home a little bit early, but the rest of the peeps here know what's up. They'll finish up the vlog. Bye guys. So this person ordered this game, which is cool, but they paid for shipping a box, but uh, also did store pickup. We'll go ahead and we'll ask them like what they, <laughs> if they want us to refund it, because we'll, we can do that. But. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we, we might just, save them money if they don't want the box. Yeah. Unless we'll they see. want maybe, maybe they wanna, but yeah. Maybe they want to like ship it to someone. They don't want to get a box. 
Yeah. What if we offered gift wrapping? I'm not very good at it, but. I thought about that, but I feel like it's kind of too late because we're gonna have to like. He's the origami guy. I can... He is the origami guy. I actually am pretty good at gift wrapping. Like, I'm not. Not to toot my own horn, but toot toot. I mean, we could, <laughs> but the shipping cutoff's probably gonna be like the 19th. And we have to like add, we have to add that as an option to check out. And then we would have to get wrapping paper yeah. with DJ on it. Like, man. With DJ, yeah. Now that's an idea. DJ tape? We can just tape the yeah. item a thousand oh, times. Yeah, we'll just tape it all over with DJ all over it. It'll yeah. look like a present. Yeah, yeah. Have you put ever, a bow on it. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever gotten a gift that was covered in tape though? That is kind of a pain. That's what that's knives and stuff are for. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I always have a knife when I open up my presents Tentacle. on Christmas. Where did you get that? Uh, I just want to know. You know what? I can't actually remember. It was probably like Amazon or eBay or something. We I think it was born, eBay. Yeah. We were born with it. I just looked for a tiny knife. One inch. You probably yeah. was born with that. Yeah. I mean, look how much it's gotten worn and stuff. It's super old. Yeah. I totally didn't get it like a year ago. Yeah, I was like, make sure you showed us when you got it. <laughs> yeah, I did. All right, here is today's trays. I believe there's uh, a couple things still hanging out in the front that we'll show you guys. Uh, but we have this really nice Skyrim guide. I still haven't played it. I do have it on Switch. So I might. Someday. Uh, some Pokemon cards here too. Uh, Cooper was saying just a couple top three were the special ones. I don't think these are in the system yet, uh, but they should be by tomorrow. Or by the time you're seeing this, uh, they'll be up. It's pretty cool. I won't go through all of them, but there's some some pretty, pretty nice ones if they're mostly newer ones. Some awesome PS3 stuff right here. And then some more fillers titles there we keep getting a lot of questions of god of war people who never have played it um and who want to get into it and they're kind of wondering where to jump into the series i kind of overheard the employees in the front talking saying that like there's a collection on ps3 that has all of them um this is just the third one um but you can you know find the collections and i'm sure they have it digitally too but uh yeah still never played god of war but it looks pretty cool. And PS2 and 360. We keep getting the, uh, the orange box Half-Life game. <laughs> it's a good one, apparently. More Xbox and PS2 here. Nothing too crazy, but, well, I mean, it's always awesome that Spyro and Chrono Cross. This really cool Gears of War steelbook thing there, and the Halo Reach uh, special editions as well. Those have a lot of extra little goodies in them. Some Wii and Wii U, Harvest Moon, Pikmin, Wii Sports, Zelda, Mario. Love to see those. Some PS4. And then Got the Star Lincoln. Um, these trickle in and they, they sell pretty consistently. Um, the game itself did, well, I assume it did terribly. Um, these things were discounted and clearanced out to like 10 to $20 everywhere. And they have held around like 20, 25 for brand new ones. Obviously here it's used and it's cheaper. Um, but I believe I got mine at like 15 or 20 bucks when they clearanced them out. Um, and for that price alone, for this price alone, 18, um, it's cool enough just to get it as, uh, you know, uh, an R-Wing toy. <laughs> um, the figures aren't that great. They're totally tiny, not detailed, nowhere near Amiibos. They're way smaller. Uh, but the ship itself is super cool uh, for that price. And there's not a ton of like R-Wing merch because a lot of the Star Fox games haven't done too hot which is why we haven't uh, had one for a while but this is obviously the newest entry uh, hopefully we will get a new game here soon or at least a port of the Wii U one which they could definitely uh, make some improvements on so hopefully we'll see something on that next year 
got this awesome 3DS. I kind of want this one for my collection, guys. So if you come in tomorrow and you don't see this, it might be in my home. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I do have the Black Friday bundle, but it's the black one. I don't have the white model. And I this is the best version of the 3DS. Um, if you kind of ask anyone in the 3DS community, they'll probably say the same thing, that this is kind of like the definitive version because it has all the new features and it's in the uh, sort of original form factor. So the screen isn't stretched out. The pixel density is still nice and sharp and you have the swappable plates, which is awesome. And I love, this does come with these extra plates. I love the extra Mario Maker plate because it has a ton of 8-bit versions of newer games like Splatoon and Wind Waker and you know cool freaking stuff I like this so we'll see that's awesome we completed that we had it came in loose but a uh, beautiful system and I'm, I'm droning on about those handhelds but we got some switch games here um, this one hasn't been cleaned yet because this has the stupid um, We've shown this a million times. It's the stupid GameStop BS. We're like, it's brand new. And they stick a freaking sticker on there and the sticker doesn't come off because it's a freaking permanent sticker. So we'll get that cleaned up, but it's, it's freaking annoying. Anyways, got The Witcher and this guy's pretty cool. Insane that the new Amiibos that are coming out are still, um, raising the value so quickly after release. This came out not too long ago. Um, it was a little bit higher uh, when the games got announced for Switch and stuff, uh, but it's come back down a little bit. It's still holding its value. Um, if you guys aren't on the Amiibo train already, I highly recommend considering when they release each new Amiibo because they are not printing a ton of them. So if you hold out and you end up wanting it later, it might end up costing an arm and a leg but that's about all folks found some of these cool connects super mario toys well it would be cooler if these were actual lego brand but lego for some reason doesn't want to do minifigures so these are the actual minifigures the knockoff Legos that don't exist anymore. Um, we also had some of these in the store that were like sitting for, uh, well, as long as I've been here. So at least a year. And there's that one too. Also, this, this perfectly fits in here. Look at that. It was meant to be. Um, but, whoa, I hate this freaking chair. I know you guys are tired of hearing about, <sighs> I know you guys are tired about I know you guys are tired of hearing about eBay, but I just wanted to mention, this isn't about eBay technically, it's about the store. This was in our store for a long time, and uh, we had it for like 20 bucks in the store, and it goes for like 50 on eBay. Um, so that's just a reminder to like check out the website, go through some of the you know random categories. You might find some good deals in there of stuff that um, you or someone else, you know, as a gift, uh, might like because you know maybe you're not into old Mario Kart Wii toys but you know maybe someone that you are close to is and you might find some good deals on our website um, so definitely go check that out because a lot of the stuff we've slowly been pulling from the store like copies of What the Golf which we still have in stock for like 40 or 50 and they're going for like 70 on eBay um, so yeah, just keep that in mind because um, as basically uh, this shelf was stuff to list. Now this whole side of the office is stuff listed on eBay. And now only this small little section right here is what's left to post on eBay um, and some Legos. Uh, but, well, and just one of stuff. The different stuff has been selling like crazy on eBay. Uh, but after I'm done with this stuff, we're going to start pulling some stuff that's been... I'm saying stuff a lot. I'm going to start pulling some things from the sales floor, and we're going to be putting on eBay. If it's stuff that's been sitting for a long time, you know, we're not going to start pulling off the good games off the shelf. 
um, like Cuba War and stuff. Um, stop saying stuff. But uh, yeah, go check out the website. All right, we already showed all the trades except for these. Isn't that cool? So we got this, uh, this, and a disc. Nice. But the thing about these are um, they are all missing the games. So none of these are officially complete because they're missing the games. But other than that, they are complete. Um, so I think Coop already ordered some replacement games on eBay. So we are just waiting for those to come in and then they'll be ready to, to go out. Um, they are on the website. Here are the prices. Um, I don't know which ones are which, but uh, if you buy them, you're, we'll probably have to put it on like hold until we get the game in. So just so you guys know. Um, but we did have this one and this one already in stock. So if you do buy these, then you might be buying the one we already have. Yeah. What about, oh, what about, oh yeah, and, yes. and these. Uh, I'm pretty sure these are in the system. I don't yeah, know where the yeah. stickers are, but this one's 40. That's 100. This one's 100. So it comes apart, right? Yeah, yeah. it comes apart. I think there might be magnets in it. Yeah, I think so. I kind of hold it together. Nice. Yeah. It's the statue from the Halo 5 Guardians Collector's Edition. Yeah. Sweet. Super cool. Can we also get like a green 64 in? Uh, yeah, I just yeah. cleaned it up. It was an SD. Yeah, there was um, dead bugs and other stuff, oh, and there was like something spilled, and like half of this was like black on the inside. So I took it completely apart, That's good now. and yeah, cleaned it completely, put a new region-free tray in it, so it looks nice. And we did find an OEM controller, but the only one we have has a GameCube-style stick. That's so cool. It did come in with the third-party one, as you can tell, it doesn't have Nintendo right there. But I think we're gonna be playing this one with it. The question is if you could work for any video game company, publisher, whatever, who would you choose and during what era? Who does GTA? Rockstar? I would do Rockstar, but like right now in this moment, because I have the genius idea <laughs> that there should be a GTA in Vegas where like you learn how to count cards and like you get like beat up by people in the casino because you're counting cards. And then, like, nice. you have to infiltrate them and, like, rob them and stuff. So right now, because I have the best idea ever, Good. and I would make them release the game instead of taking ages. <laughs> okay, Jess. Yes. I, I gotta... could not ever imagine Jess oh. looking in. Oh, what? <laughs> this is Don't a good question today. Uh, we hardly okay. ever have good questions. I'm sorry. So, um, <laughs> basically, if you could work for any video game company, publisher, you know, developer, anything yeah. like that during any era. Oh. Which one in which era? Ooh. Yeah. Probably Nintendo for the GameCube era. Nice. Yeah. That's Love a good that. one. That's mm -hmm. a good one. That is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, Kirby! <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.